that I found. The first wave that they must be now in their early 50s, their 40s or their early 50s, because the first one I discovered had just turned 30 years old, and that was 20 years ago, and I'm still in touch with them. Now, this wave, when they came in, these are people, they don't want to be here. They don't like it here. They can't stand the violence. They want to go home, but they don't know where home is. They just know it's not here. They're very gentle people. These are not conspirators. They're not people who want to hurt anyone. They're just here to change by existing, by being here. So they are living among us just as ordinary people, but it's very, very difficult for them because they feel out of place. You can understand why. Because the ones I've talked to, and this is all over the world, they said they have a good family, they had a good job, but they just didn't want to be here. They wanted to go home. And many of them did try to commit suicide, especially in their earlier years, because they just couldn't take it here. But after I worked with them and they find out why they're here, then they change and they said, all right, I may not like it here, but I'm gonna do my job. This is the first wave of people. Another uh, characteristic of these first uh, wave, they don't like uh, they don't like violence, but they can't understand emotion. Anger and fear upset them and paralyze them to where they can't, uh, they can't handle it. So many of them kind of remain as loners because the, but the whole emotional thing of Earth is just so chaotic. See, Earth is a very challenging planet. And they said, you're very brave to come to Earth and want to experience what's here. We're here to learn emotions and limitations. And some people, that's very difficult. Okay, the second wave uh, are different. They are in their 20s and their 30s now. They're just below the age group of the first wave. I call them the antennas, the channelers, the generators. This is what they're called. They're different. They are not having, they didn't have near the problem that the first wave did. They are here not to do anything. They're just here to be. Their energy that they generate in their body affects everyone they come in contact with. You, can you see how this is going to help change the world? They just uh, live for themselves or they have a, they work from home. They're very gentle people. But they say they could walk through a mall of people or a grocery store and affect everyone that they came in contact with. Very positive energy. And both of these groups don't want to have children. Now, when they come in, they said there's like a shield, I guess you would say, put over them so they cannot uh, accumulate karma. It's to keep them from accumulating karma. And the majority of them don't want children because children uh, causes karma when you have children. They want to do their job and get out of here. They don't want to be stuck on earth. They want to go back to where they came from. They're just a volunteer. Uh, you wouldn't even know them. They just blend in very easily. They have, don't have the problems. And I asked them, why did the first one have so many problems where the second wave didn't? They said somebody had to be the beginning. Someone had to be the pioneers they were the way showers. They had to, to blaze the trail. That's why they had so much difficulty. Then the second group were easier for them to follow. The third wave are the new children. And we're all familiar with them now. That, and they are the ones, they are called the gift to the world. They're different. Their energy is different. They come in going so much more. And they said the DNA has already been changed. Now our DNA is being worked on constantly. This is part of the um, abduction stuff. Everything that is happening has to do with the DNA is being changed. But they're very concerned about the effects of the additives in our food and the, um, the uh, pollutants in the air and what we're doing to our bodies. That explains a lot of the abductions with the examinations. 
They're trying to find cures for cancer and for all the other diseases. And when this happens, they will give these subconsciously to different scientists so they can develop cures on their own. But also, the DNA is being manipulated so that we don't get sick and we will live longer. And the children are coming in with it already in place. I just read an article. The scientists are doing examinations of our DNA. They are finding something definitely has happened. We are turning into a totally new species of human that our DNA is different than it was even 20, 30 years ago. They said we are turning into a species that cannot get sick. So I said, aha, they're finally beginning to find proof of it. I asked them one time, will the scientists know something? The doctors notice something is different. They said, no, because they won't know what to look for. But it's there. It's not demonic. It's not negative. It shows how they are helping the world. Otherwise, they said, oh, we're going to destroy ourselves. And we can, they can't allow that to happen.